This podcast is part of the Deluxe Edition Network. To find other great shows on the network, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. That's deluxeeditionnetwork.com. Hey, everybody, this is Chase from Barrel Age Flicks. Go ahead and check out our Patreon for raw, uncut footage and early access to all of our episodes. The link is in the description, and it's only $5 a month. Thanks for listening. What is up, everybody? Welcome to the tasting room. Hey, hey, hey. hey. We oh. got... We got... What the fuck? <laughs> we got... Hey. Special That's guest with us today. <laughs> we got special guest with us today. We got Bev's video on board on our, uh, their podcast to uh, join us on ours, and I am so fucking excited about Welcome, this. Welcome, gentlemen. So you guys must be what is up, everybody? pretty damn popular. I hear you have a beer named after you now. They have two. Two. We do. We, 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 wait, two? wait, wait. You don't? You, Why you aren't don't? we famous enough for this? Because we suck. We suck. Fuck. <laughs> That's why we actually have two beers. I mean, not to you know get too humble braggish over here, but yeah, two. That's beers. That's pretty fucking. Uh, awesome. The ones of the director's cut and it's shitty and long. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we she threw said in all the deleted me. scenes that were terrible into the next one. So yeah, you know, you know that's oh, what happens. So why don't you guys? Uh, why don't yeah, you guys dude, go ahead? And, ha- oh, sorry, I apologize. I said, why don't you guys go ahead and plug your show? So, so we're, we're bad video kingdom uh, and uh, we're four dudes that are that are just sort of longtime friends and movie fans uh, and uh, non non cinephiles. Right. So we don't know shit about movies. Um, so, you you know, the opinions that we bring, uh, we take no responsibility for. Uh, but it's, sort <laughs> like of, you know, kind of a roundtable talking about uh, we, we, every other episode we do a movie. Uh, and then the other episodes we have a, a draft where we pick a category related to the movie like you know, most embarrassing moment. We just did our hundredth episode with uh, something about Mary. That's all awesome. the draft, which was like kind of a fantasy football style draft was uh, the most embarrassing movie moments. Yeah. So like, you know, that's kind of our style. You know, we just were a bunch of friends that sit around and talk movies. And I find you guys very similar to us in the same way. Cause we're the exact same way. We bust each other's balls. We talk about movies and yeah. we, I was get gonna drunk. Say, we are, we are not exactly the same. Good no, sir. no, similar. You guys four ratted guys. me off the fucking street corner and now I'm in your basement. This okay. Is- okay. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> See, Don't you make the dump sound floor. like some pedophile shit. Okay. All right. Well, yeah, we know you're 12, 12 years old. Year old. Right. I, told, I told him he signed the fucking consent form. Yes. So I we have not. Fine. We had your, no, your parents consented. It's fine. <laughs> All right. We're, we're going by like you know the, the say, West Virginia rules. Hey, when we're when we're talking to folks, we do tell them that we're the, we're the the West Coast version of barrel aged flicks. That's what we say. Oh, like, that's, that's 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 I like it. I love it. Flicks. Thank you for blowing smoke up our ass. So Appreciate funny. that. What was that? Who, who, who just dinged? <laughs> Good job, Ron. Who just dinged? That was my fucking <laughs> Ron. Yay! <laughs> Are you ready? Are you ready for your punishment? Shit better not be going off the whole fucking time during this broadcast. Right? I think that's a you problem. I want to know how do I get it to go off now so I can you get it out. All right, so you guys, oh, are you I'm no. spinning the wheel. So you should try it. Oh shit! Oh, you got. I'd say honorary guest guests would be the host in case it's uh Daddy the original picks. punishment shot. Oh, all right. So I need a shot of screwball whiskey. Yes, you do. Over here. Oh. oh. Uh, no, that's not the bar. So well, well gin or something. Well gin would have been delicious. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> let me let me find some. Uh, no, no, Crystal's getting it right now. Oh. She thank you, Crystal. You're right on. With the fucking quickness. She's on it. Oh, God. Thank God you, damn. honey. That's service right there. I know some people hey, who she, love screwball, which is just crazy to me because I think it's I think it's shit. It's it was our first hey. show that we did this. And I fucking hated it, man. I, I it doesn't even taste like whiskey. <laughs> I don't know what the it's fucking horrible. Oh man, I don't think it's too bad, uh, but you know, it's whatever. too fucking sweet, and it doesn't even t- no. Nah, it's fucking yeah. bullshit. Damn. Cheers. So I just want to do a boiler maker. Waiting to happen. I, don't, I just oh, well. I want to do a boiler maker with that and sweet baby Jesus uh, peanut butter uh, peanut butter chocolate. Uh, stout. Oh, we might have to try that. Mm. So what's stopping you? Mm. Um, I've 
broke and too busy to run to the store most of the time, quite frankly. <laughs> so what's your excuse? That's a shitty excuse. Oh, I'm, I literally just said it. I'm broke and I don't have the time. Well, the time <laughs> thing is easily taken care of because you got excellent crystal who could assist. That is true. Okay. And <clears throat> that actually sounds delicious, so I might be willing to finance that. All right. That. <laughs> All right. Hey, where can we find you guys, by the way? Where can everybody find you guys on? On the West Coast. I'm talking about listening. <laughs> so we're on we're on uh, Apple Pod, Spotify, Anchor, uh, probably on some shit called Fubo or Pluto. We don't even know. We're on, <laughs> we're on everywhere you can you can find podcasts, but it's like 95 percent Apple Pods, and like everybody else is listening to us on Spotify. So um, I think we actually make a little bit more money when you listen to us on Spotify. So uh, get us that extra 18th of a cent every time you uh, it adds on up. Spotify. <laughs> yeah. Get, get, Bet. We need that. All right. I feel that. So what are we drinking, by the way? <laughs> oh, well, you know, uh, as you mentioned a little bit earlier, uh, just last week, and we had our release party for our uh, BVK IPA, the director's cut. And uh, this is our, our second iteration of uh, a delicious hazy IPA. Uh, this one uh, has the Azaka hops, Eldorado hops, and the Nectaron, some of those New Zealand hops in there. And uh, uh, Walter Ramirez has been on our, our pod numerous times, and he's the brewmaster at Last Call, and the guy is just a, a beer genius. So uh, we, we just we give the reins to him. He tells us what to do. And all we're, we're pretty much manual labor. We dumped grain into the, the, the yeah. mash, and just we were stirring shit, and then we're adding hops. Like We just kind of like we're the manual labor over there, and uh, we made this thing happen. That's kind of cool that's to be awesome. a part of the so, That's awesome. a local brewery for you guys? Thank a couple times. Yeah, last call. Yeah, you guys, you guys need to try it. I want to hear the. I want to hear the uh, the verdict on oh, what we're you guys about got. To, okay, stuff. All right, guys, let's go yeah, ahead. Last call brewing, Oakdale, California. If you're in the in the Central Valley of California, last call brewing is uh, serving 16 delicious beers on tap every Skull. night. So check it out. Home, home, home Cheers. of the the rodeo capital of the world. Oakdale, the cowboy California. capital of the world is what uh, Oakdale, California, is known as. Surprisingly enough, there we go. We see them some popping. They said they'd be honest too. This I can't wait. Actually, I, I can't wait. If it's if it's shitty, they're gonna tell us it's shitty. All right, I call I call <laughs> first dibs. I don't find it shitty at all. Go I ahead. call first dibs. I fucking hate IPAs. This is delicious. I'm gonna be in it uh, probably one and a half, almost two thumbs out of two thumbs. <clears throat> hey, really? Dude. Yeah, I like that. Wow. Like uh, it's it's weird. It's it uh, has an interesting nose to it. It's a lot better than the Chad Duke's I beer. I, I was really skeptical <laughs> taking the first smell, but the taste, it's weird, like hits you and immediately got this weird, I'm probably absolutely wrong, but I, my my mind wanted to say almost like a coffee stout initially that felt that you're, went, wait, you know, you're I off, know dude. maybe it's because of the drink I had before, <laughs> but it, it, it hits like a different kind of IPA and then it finishes out really lightly. That's why you're 12. Yeah. Resident All right, 12 right there. Exactly what I was about to say. Um, I'm going to give this a two, <laughs> believe it or not. And I'm not even an IPA person. I actually am very, I'm very etchy when it comes to IPAs. Like sometimes it can be good. Sometimes it can be bad. This one's actually really good. It's a very nice crisp beer. It's actually a really good summer drink too. I can yeah. drink this in the summer. Like I'm, think, on a, on I'm thinking day. cookout. Yeah. That's what we're going for. And I know, tell me, I'll tell you the truth. I'm, I'm being That's honest as, as I can be, because I was going to be honest. I, if I didn't like it, I was going to give it a zero or whatever, but this is a fucking two. You guys knocked out. And I'll test to that. Uh, when Ron told me you guys were being gracious enough to send us, uh, um, these beers and he's like, all right, are we, are we going to be honest or are we just going to blow smoke up their ass, you know, and you know, try to promote them? <laughs> no, no, we don't, I'm like, we no, don't, we, don't, we, we learned our lesson. No, no, we, no, we are honesty. Yeah, we are absolutely going to be honest. Um, go ahead. Ragnar. So, so when you drink it, think about the fact that that's 7.4%. I mean, it's, it's a pretty, a pretty strong alcohol content. And usually you get, when you get into the IPAs that are seven, eight percent, it can be a little bit of a rough finish there, yes. but uh, yes, it I is. think it's pretty accessible. I think people that don't love IPAs can drink that and be pretty happy with it. Yeah. Like I, it's definitely hoppy, but it's not right. kick your ass. Yeah, it's no, it's you, not no. that it's not fucking right. that hoppy. Yeah. Not at no, all. No, you no, know? it's not. You get a hint of it, but it's overall, it's pretty fucking smooth. It's kind of like Elysium. Uh, if uh, if any chance, if you uh, want me to pay my for it, beers, hey, man, I'll I'll, uh, I'll buy another six pack from you guys. Seriously, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't right. mind having something in my fridge. <laughs> I, I'd right keep this in the have fridge. You tried this aerating is, it. This is really good. It's already in the oh, that's right. have, you, have you tried aerating it? Yeah, make a, it makes it pop. 
Good shit, man. That 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 makes us stoked. Uh, like yeah, we, yeah. we have a, a, a blast brewing it, and then we get to go for the canning day. Oh, that does bring the it. The canning out. day yeah. is just hella oh, drunk good. because uh, as the cans good. come off the line, some of them come off a little bit bad. So, oh, I guess I got to drink that damn thing. So we end up just getting drunk on the canning days too, and that it's, is it's awesome. a blast. Brad- Brad was the only guy that was able to make it to the canning day this this year. And uh, the texts that were coming from Brad by about 4 p.m., he was like, I've been drunk since 12. And he's like just screaming these insane texts. I'm 14 deep in. Fuck you guys. No free samples. <laughs> what, what, what did you give it? Um, I'll let him Ragnar. Oh. Give two. You give it two. Ragnar gives it a two? Yeah. Stu? Oh, I'm definitely yeah. giving it a two. Um, I'm a major hop head. I appreciate, especially a, a lot of these uh, lesser used hops. Um, and it's very light. It's it's refreshing. It, it has sweet fruit notes to it. Um, and like you were saying, right. uh, usually the heavier alcohol ones have a more rough uh, ending Bless on it. You. This, this Thank you. does not at all. It's very light from start to finish. Um, aerating it uh, makes the hops eat, pop out even more. Uh, I'm very, very impressed. Great job. Yeah, and I'm going to awesome. edit Great. mine. Um, I had said like one and a half. <laughs> no, no, no. You're, you're just trying to be part of the crew. No, it, it definitely was because of the it. drink I had before threw off that first sip. So uh, that's going to be a right. two. Yeah. See, the thing is, we we tried Good. another beer that another podcast did um, that I was a fan of um, called the Chad Dukes. And uh, we actually starstruck. We both gave it a great review. And then in about like maybe about 20, 30 episodes later, we were like, no, that beer was fucking dog shit. It was horrible. It was, about, <laughs> was it like the whiskey? It was Just fucking drinking su- piss out of a, a can. Because son was, of a Santa sucked. It's, it no, did. it's the same. That's actually from the same gym. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Chad Dukes hasn't made good beer. You guys knocked it out of the park. Great I, job. Seriously. <laughs> damn. Compliments to your Appreciate brewer. That. This is awesome. Absolutely. Hell yeah. Um, hey, uh, appreciate video. you guys. Yeah. Okay, all, I'm have to start all props looking. go to Walter Ramirez. So uh, we, we yeah. appreciate you guys. Last call brewing Oakdale, man. California. Rodeo capital of the world. Cowboy capital of the world. Uh, they're making some good beers over there. They got a bunch of breweries making some really good stuff. Yeah, I'm going to start yeah. looking to see if this they got uh, any available here on the East Coast. And well, I'm always looking for a nice brewery, especially a local one or, or a smaller brewery that I can support. And this is top notch yeah. work. You got yeah. more over there? Because, like I said, if you have a six pack, I'll buy another six pack if you send one over to me. I will definitely buy a six pack from you guys. Yeah, we got uh, we got a got bunch. We'll, we'll make that happen. We'll talk off air. We, so, so, we got you guys covered. So, right, real cool. quick, the the the, uh, the most popular beer at last call is right on theme for both of our podcasts. It's called Karate in the Garage. Oh, that sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah. To uh, Step Brothers. Yeah. 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 And, uh, it's a double IPA, and it's delicious. Nate's got a keg of it at his house in the kegerator. And it's no shit, man. That's <laughs> fucking it's awesome. A, it's a, it's a hazy and it's smooth. Nice. See, I'm I'm thinking of uh, the Freddy Krueger movie. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <What? laughs> All right. So I guess we'll go ahead and start with their top five movie quotes. So uh, you and guys, monologues. And monologues, if you have it in there. So uh, we're going to let you guys go oh. first, and then uh, I'll go next, and we'll go round table and uh, get this going. So let's see. What are your top five movie quotes, Bez Video? All right. I was fired up for this because I was like, you know what? I think you're going to see a little bit of, uh, of each of our movie personalities as, as we do this. And I think uh, uh, it's we're all pretty distinct when it comes to our movie taste. So uh, my first one here is is just an absolute classic. And I, I have to – I know this isn't on camera, but, you know, uh, when when – <laughs> when you got Pulp Fiction and Vince Vega is trying to help uh, his, his poor OD, uh, uh, I guess he's managing her for the night. When he says, I, I, I got to stab her three times. That's one of my favorite quotes ever. Just John Travolta's delivery spot on. Yeah. Um, second, second. Uh, it's a pivotal moment in a, 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 a actually a tiebreaker game. It's not even an actual playoff game. It's a tiebreaker game at the end of the season between the Yankees and the Cleveland Indians. Um, Dorn, uh, he knows Ricky Vaughn slept with his wife and he comes out to the mound and he says, <laughs> let's, cut the cr- let's cut through the crap, Vaughn. I've only got one thing to say to you. Strike this motherfucker out. <laughs> just, yes. From that point on, you're just fired up. I love it. Absolutely love it. Too. Yeah. He runs back to the plate on his bad knees. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yes. <laughs> um, and then we've got, uh, and, and this is Scotch and I, I'm glad we're sitting next to each other because those two assholes uh, from BBK don't like this movie. But uh, Strange Brew. Oh, know, oh that's a great fucking movie. Somebody. Yes. When you're oh, trying to get some, when you're trying to get some information from somebody, and and you only have one donut left, and and you know it's very important to you, but you know what, you offer it and you say it's a jelly, 
<laughs> yes. <Dick Moranis. laughs> His delivery on Great. jelly just kills wonderful, me. I love it so delivery. much. I, I have that on the t-shirt, actually. <laughs> <laughs> it's a jelly. <laughs> All right. And then, uh, you know, I mean, sometimes when you're rocking, uh, uh, Scotch Beck is a rocker, uh, both Nate and Zach, they're, they're rockers. They know how to play some guitar and stuff. And, you know, if you're, if you're performing, you want to just go to that extra level. Sometimes you got to have those amps that go to 11 and, you know, uh, Fuck yes. these, these go to 11. These go to 11. That's yes. such a great quote. Yes. Final tap. <laughs> that is mine. That's a and great then finally movie. to round this out. If you're trying to get some revenge, you know, when you say when you say to somebody straight up, my name is Nigo Montoya. You killed my father. Prepare <laughs> to die. Princess Bride. That is just uh, I mean, just maybe the best quote ever. I'm yeah. sorry. That's yeah. I'm, I'm in it with my with which is with my grand slam there. That's that's a Nigo Montoya. Yeah, the best. As, as usual, I hate all of Brad's picks, but that last one is a home run. That, I, that's I, a classic. <laughs> that's yeah. a fucking classic <laughs> movie. Fucking Andre the Giant. Fucking amazing in that movie. Oh, oh God, man. That was a fun episode. Hell yeah. Today. Yeah, that was a fun episode. Today. Yeah, we, we did an episode on Princess Bride, actually. That was a good one. Dude. All right, so who's Wait, next? Okay, so uh, my, my turn. All right. Scotch back. All right. Uh, so my first one is from Office Space. <laughs> and it's, there's only one line I can think of. Burn down your After he gets asked what he would do with a million dollars, I'll tell you what i do, man. Two chicks, the same time, man. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I love really him. Serious. I love him as just an actor. Such a, oh, he was so good in that role. And uh, his delivery on that was just so earnest and so true. And you just believe him. That's what he yeah. would do. I, I loved him. At the same time. I loved him in Napoleon Dynamite as a karate uh, oh, uh, teacher. Fantastic. Remember that? Rex, Rex Kwando. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you think people feel bad for me because I go home to Starla at night? <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Okay, my next one is from uh, a movie that not a lot of people have probably seen. It's it's okay because it, it, you really don't need to see it, but it's a movie uh, called Showgirls. Oh, yeah, yeah, great movie, yeah, yes. man. I love that movie. That's a good you one. Fucking yeah, great, would. Be, what the best TNA movies out you there? You fucking would. Oh, come on, it's directed by Paul Verhoeven, man. I fucking love that movie. It's a Hands horrible up. fucking movie. It's entertaining. <laughs> it's what. That's a movie you should put on your list. That's a movie you should put on your list. No, too many like zombie strippers on now. It's fucking uh, epileptic seizure in a, <laughs> in a pool that like, gets you going like that. Exactly. <laughs> Dude, it's it's. It's horrible, but it's amazing. It's super fun to watch with some buddies. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah. <laughs> so, um, oh, by the way, I have a little bit of a theme going with my my list here. And my theme is uh, titties and beer. Oh, so I'm good with pretty that. pretty much where I'm going with mine. So, uh, yeah, so Showgirls is a very touching moment. Nomi, the, the the former stripper, she's a showgirl now. She's, she's, she's making it in the world. And her former boss shows up and they saw her in the show. And they're super, they have this little touching moment. And all of a sudden they start walking off and Robert Davi turns around and says, must be weird. Not have anybody come on you. <laughs> I fucking love him. He's amazing. Love him as an actor. Such a good quote. Okay. So uh, my next one, Bachelor Party. Oh, Classic God. movie from the 80s. Tom Hanks. Yes. <laughs> Tom, H- Tom Hanks, he goes into the, into the bedroom and, and sitting in, in, in the room is this hot, naked, amazing woman. And... He's sitting there trying to decide if he, he's going to bang her or not. And she's sitting on the bed completely naked and her head starts morphing into different people. And all of a sudden it morphs into his brother. And he's like, what are you nuts? Look at my tits. They're perfect. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Next one from dusk till dawn. Oh yeah. When they are, when they're in the hotel room, and they, the, the, the Gecko brothers, they first, they're, they're capturing the Harvey Keitel or yeah, Harvey Keitel and the rest of them. And, uh, Quentin Tarantino sees, uh, uh Juliet Juliette Lewis. Lewis and he thinks he hears her say, Oh yeah. Richie. Oh shit. Yeah. Would you do me a favor and eat my pussy for me? <laughs> 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 you have a strong list. You have a yeah. very strong list. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Oh and man. So that ends the, uh, <clears throat> that ends the titties portion of my list. So now to the beer from the movie Beer Fest. Yes. I switched this up from what I sent to the guys. And one of my favorite parts is when they're tasting the new beer they made and from the recipe they found. And, and there's a bunch of different lines, but my favorite part is it's two different guys. I want to put my dick in it. I want it to put his dick in me. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. 
Oh, God, that's great also movie. on the intro of our our oh, friends, the Real Drunks, who are on the uh, yep. the, the Deluxe Edition Network. So yeah, that's, that's on their their intro. It's pretty. Oh, yeah. I love this network. We have such great great range of uh, podcasts on this network. There's like two or three more just <laughs> yeah. added within the last couple of days. Yeah, I noticed. Yeah, 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 they've added a bunch of good ones. Uh, some yeah. some really, really good ones just catching on. Recently, yeah. <laughs> I do feel like way. the Deluxe Edition Network is single-handedly keeping like the alcohol industry open, though, because like, <laughs> goddamn, I think we all drink a lot. <laughs> well, yeah, uh, we, yeah, we're we're doing our part, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> who's helping, next? Helping support uh, Alcoholics Anonymous. All right, so uh, I think that Nate here. Uh, so I ran down. Uh, I, I I picked a bunch of my favorite movies, and then I grabbed uh, my favorite quotes. So we'll start here. Do you like apples? <laughs> Well, I got a number. How do you like them apples? <laughs> <laughs> that was a great, I was gonna great, say, great like, fucking I think mind. you almost made Stu that spit was, shot. No, honestly, that, I, that was a, a wonderfully <laughs> written movie, wonderfully acted, gave birth to the you know careers of you know Damon and Affleck, of course. Matt Damon. Um, yeah. No, but that, and that right there is <laughs> an amazing fucking line from that fucking movie. It really so, is. So, Fuck, I mean, they I won mean, an Oscar for that fucking yeah. movie. Good one, honey. Yeah, and, and Good Will Hunting is one of my favorite movies. But I, I would, and I'm if we were doing favorite scenes in a movie, the Harvard Bar scene in, in Good Will Hunting would be solidly. Oh my yeah, 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 super yeah, super yeah, yeah, super strong. Yeah. I mean, it's just you, you, nobody ever owned somebody else as fucking hard as he owned them, and then he mm-hmm. tops it off with "Do you like them apples?" Oh yeah, yeah. Just uh, slapping like it on apple. the window. So, so uh, second up, uh, this one's a little on the nose, but. You got to get busy living or you got to get busy dying. Yep. Yeah, that's Shawshank. Shawshank Redemption. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, I'm, a, I'm a huge fan of that movie. Uh, to be honest, I'm not sure. Like, I, I debated. There are other good lines in that one. Uh, lots of good ones that I like. That one's just sort of like the most famous. And I have a my wife uh, and my kids, because it's my favorite movie, I have the poster up in my office. The tree that's in that movie was struck by lightning and like split apart and fell. Yeah. So like true capitalists, the people that owned that land fucking chopped it up and made it into like little pieces of wood that they have like burnt images on from the movie. Right. <laughs> wow. One of them is like a picture of Shawshank with that quote on it. So that quote sits above my desk. Uh, wow. So it had to be that one. I also yeah, look like Nate, you know, as, as people know, I'm I'm the biggest, probably the second biggest fan of Shawshank besides you. <laughs> because okay, so this, guy, been- this guy's been my best friend for like, like 40 years. And he told me to watch Shawshank basically from the day it came out. He lent me the DVD for like three years. I never watched it until finally we did it on the pod like uh, six months ago or something. I finally watched Shawshank for the first time ever. Movie, I got a but question. Do that you was like, great about wow. these type podcasts. We get to share films that we love yeah. and hopefully find other people yeah. and introduce them to these films. Yeah, because we have a lot of fans of yeah. our show that actually yeah. said that they listen to our show and they just, oh, I've never seen that movie. And it gets them to watch that movie that they that we talk about watch and stuff like it, that. Yeah. So. Uh, are you a fan of the really? Green Mile, though? You know, I like the Green Mile. I, I, I've never, it never has had, I've never had the same affection for it as no. I have with Shawshank. It's okay. not nearly I think as the good. supernaturalish element of it throws me <clears throat> like that. That that's not my jam. Okay, no, I hear you. I hear you. So, yeah. so I like, I, I think I, 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 I like it in spite of that stuff, but yeah. I think it like knocks it down a peg for me. Okay, Shawshank also just for me, like it's, it's, it's for me, it's the perfect movie. <laughs> top ten, maybe top five movie for me. I am a golden god. Yeah. So Billy Crudup standing famous. on top of the house, Almost trying to famous. decide what his last words are going to be because he's going to jump in the pool. What you prefer, the bootleg cut and or the that, original cut? Uh, I I prefer the original. The bootleg um, cut is really good, though. I, I mean, have you seen the bootleg I, cut? I never yeah. saw that. I, oh, so I haven't. I, I have, seen but I haven't seen. I, it's been a long time, so maybe I need to give it another run. Oh yeah, it's like thirty minutes of extra footage, but it actually adds a lot more character development in the movie. It's a fucking great movie. Okay. I, mean, I feel water. I feel it makes oh, yeah. it drag it, a little bit, though. The bootleg cut makes it drag I, a little bit more not than really. The, yeah. I think it actually adds to it. it I don't know. It maybe. does in 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 certain spots. It does add to the characters, but the timing of it, the pacing of the film, makes it feel a lot longer as a whole, and just drags. Uh, the feeling of the film, in my opinion. But that, by the way, that's a great. I, fucking I, I feel quote, you though. on that, man. I feel like there's a there's a scourge of uh, everyone wants to make their movie three hours long nowadays. It's yes. <laughs> like there's no movie that's come out since 2018 that's not three hours long. It's yep. crazy. Yeah, that's pretty <laughs> normal right. for Hollywood now. Okay, number four. So I'm a uh, Brad and I have long shared a love of this movie, and no surprise, we both have quotes from it. Uh, but mine uh, is a little more, I think, uh, colorful. 
Say what again? Say what again? I dare you. (laughs) (laughs) Pulp Fiction, Samuel L. Jackson. Mm The old the motherfuckers. Jules we did Pulp Fiction and uh, and we do fake com- we do uh, made up commercials on our show and so I did uh, which I love by Jackson the way. School I love your guys' fake commercials for motherfuckers saying motherfuckers. <laughs> yes. yeah. I will say we just uh, we, so, we also just did Coming to America and and Samuel L. Jackson he had he was using the F word just perfectly in that movie and that was like one of the first big movies of his career Coming to America yeah. and so yes. he had he had a, a, he had a grasp of the fuck here, word. But, Brad's Brad's real initials are BMF. That's true. So that's oh, true. Oh, shit. <laughs> that is true. Um, Did you have the wallet? I've never got the wallet, though. Oh, I've never gone there. I probably that should. That is bad right, right there. That's bad motherfucker. Like the, like the 200th episode, yeah. Oh, oh, shit. All right, last up. And I feel this deep in my heart because it's true. 60% of the time, it works every time. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Anger man. Uh, Oh man, that, that movie's got so many fucking quotes in there. I mean, it's, it's so many but one liner. Yes, it's illegal yes. in like seven Absolutely. countries. Just like, no, just like seven brothers. Sixty percent of the time. Yes, we did Anchorman on our pod, and, and we we set out like ten minutes just doing lines. Like that was like we we usually do not do that, but we we had to go back and forth like just our favorite lines from that movie. And after we got done snorting all those lines we actually said quotes from the movie it was fucking <laughs> See, the thing is we've been doing that sometimes in our episodes like really intense. christmas vacation our christmas vacation episode we actually did the whole fucking rant from chevy chase and all five of us <laughs> did one <laughs> yes trying to do it without taking and a breath all five of us <laughs> fucked it up <laughs> yeah. i but was hammered i was able to bet on no, the winner you got shit off I, was, mix around. I was able you to bet on the winner <laughs> yeah. and everything oh, I yeah. Yeah. nailed it and you, you got punishment shot no, for you because he's a fucking time traveler that's yes, what it was that's it. No, it's because I'm that fucking good. Exactly. That's why. To be fair, we're pretty notorious for fucking up quotes from movies on yes. our pod, too. All right, Zach, how about you, buddy? Yeah. All right, so I'm going to run through mine pretty quick here. So my favorite movie of all time. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a horror movie guy, so. Yeah. Hell yeah. 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 What I'm going to do is from. What was this? Uh, from the movie that was my favorite movie. That was my. From 2018. <laughs> one of my favorite movies of all time. When the fucking goddess Tony Collette as Annie. She's uh, talking to her son, and he's giving her a bunch of shit after he has arguably killed her daughter. And uh, she tells him, I never wanted to be your mother. And then she fucking closes her cl- oh. covers her mouth just immediately. And uh, it's Ugh. just such the most was, absolutely yeah. devastating thing. Yeah. I fucking oh. love that shit. And then bring it back to a, to a lighter one. This is one that my dad always used to say. And my step grandpa always used to say the movie Dutch from 1991 starring. Great movie. Yes. I don't know if you guys have seen it. Al Bundy. Uh, he's taking this kid around. They go to a, they go to a diner and they get a bunch of bacon and eggs and he walks out and lets out just the most spectacular burp. And he looks at the kid and says, Nothing burps better than bacon. <laughs> yes. I've been that for years and years and years. One of my favorite quotes. Bacon Fucking awesome. burps are delicious. There is no doubt. Oh, yes. Right? Nothing, literally nothing burps better than bacon. All right. <laughs> Moving on. Jesus, one of my favorite man. movies of all time, 1993, Matthew McConaughey's fucking film debut. He's standing in front of his car and he looks around and there's a bunch of chicks walking by and he says, yep. I love these high school girls. I get older. They stay the, the same, same age. age. Days with Jews. Now that I have a daughter, I fucking have some some fucking conflicts with. <laughs> yes. Yes. Great I, I don't think we have to even have daughters. Just now that we're older, we're like it's a little uh, creepy now. Fucking weird. <laughs> Now that I know a bunch of old fucking perverts, I'm like, God damn it. I don't Ex- know if I like that as much, but Ex- it's still a great movie line. Yeah. We're actually okay. getting ready to do a Matthew McConaughey movie one. tonight after this. Rain of Fire. Yep. I know. I know. Oh, you guys are doing Rain of Fire. I fucking love that. All right. So the next one, I'm going. Told you guys somebody almost likes famous. that fucking movie. We've, we've hit Almost Famous a couple of times during this. <laughs> one of my favorite movies of all time. But my dude, Jason Lee, he's talking to the reporter and he's trying trying to explain to him what he does as the lead singer of the band. And he says, you know what I do? I connect. I get people off. I look at a guy who isn't getting off and I make him get off. Yep. And I fucking feel that as a guy that has, (laughs) has, has performed in front of people and tried to fucking do that. 
it's uh, it's some real shit. And he's such a fucking douchebag. It makes it even better. And then yeah. he goes behind Scott's the curtain. And sucks seven, Scott's made seven <laughs> people get off on uh, at our at our event. On last Scott Saturday. is really good at making people get off. It's mm-hmm. good job. Amazing. That, so that's, that is, that's, uh, that's dedication two. to the craft right there. So that's two from almost famous already. <laughs> Dude, exactly. <laughs> fucking. Better than Captain so, all right, last one. Nothing's better than Captain Cumber. I'm gonna go with one of my favorite actors of all time. I just watched. Uh, I just watched fucking Wolf of Wall Street the other day. He's Fuck amazing yeah. in it, oh, yeah. but he's perfect. <laughs> Jonah Hill in Superbad, 2007, and then and Very this is funny. one of my one of my big things is cargo shorts, and he says <laughs> nobody's gotten a hand job in cargo shorts since Nam, and that is one <laughs> yes. of the fucking funniest <laughs> yes. 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 That I have ever heard. Oh, that was man. back when Jonah wasn't a, that, wasn't yeah. embarrassed about being fat when he had just accepted his fatness yes. and exactly. laid into that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Now he's all self conscious. Uh, those are my five, dude. Thanks for great thanks for list. Letting us fucking all yell four of you dude, guys, dude, amazing dude, list. Dude. Yeah, your your lists were great. A lot of comedy, a lot of some dramas in there. I mean, fucking showgirls. I never thought that somebody would bring a quote from showgirls yes. in there. <laughs> I mean, seriously. Only I mean, me, bro. Um, Only me. My favorite showgirls quote was probably, um, uh, "I got towels." <laughs> all right, that was probably my favorite fucking quote from showgirls. And I've used that quote. More times than I can count. <laughs> right. So bad. Yes. We're going to go ahead and start with the BAF now with our quotes. Uh, guys, like I said, great job on your quotes. You guys did fucking amazing. i um, happy with all Thank of your you, quotes. Uh, mine is more sci-fi-ish and a little bit of uh, mostly sci-fi, actually. I think all of them are basically sci-fi. I'm a big sci-fi <laughs> nut. But like so they're sci-fi. like uh, they said in the beginning, you're going to feel where each of our movie tastes kind of lie. Yeah. Uh, based on our quotes, where we feel are the most you know, pivotal quotes to us that yeah. really does say a lot about a person. Like, like you said, yeah. th- this is mm-hmm. really individualized. And it's, I think that's really cool. Yeah. Yeah. No, I fucking love this. Like For comedy sure. on one part. And then you got like Shawshank redemption and a fucking auto almost famous. I mean, I didn't even think about that. Neither movie. did I. One of my first quotes from like one of my number one movies of all time aliens. I'm sorry, but this is iconic to me. Get away from her. You bitch. Yes. I, yes, I'm yep. sorry. Yep. I I will always love that line. As soon as you see that fucking uh, mech thing, uh, her just running in there and saying that line, it just fits perfectly. I love the Ripley character. Love that. Uh, another one of my favorite movies of all time, Blade Runner. Now this is more of a monologue here, but it is the end part in Blade Runner where uh, Batty says, "I've seen things that people wouldn't believe. Attack ships on the fire of the shoulder of Orion. I've watched sea beams glitter in the dark near the Tannhauser Gate." All those moments will be lost in time like tears in the rain. It's fucking poetry to me. Ooh. I fucking love Ooh, that love movie. It. Blade Runner is a beautiful fucking movie, and I enjoy the hell out Wasn't of it. Wasn't that line I completely like, ad-libbed? I believe so, yes. Yeah. <laughs> this is completely fucking made up on the goddamn spot. It's impressive. Said, Say something Shit. fucking weird. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I bet I got you. <laughs> but tears in the rain, I mean, it's, it's, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful. Yeah, it is. It, it is. is. I enjoy the hell of that. Now, this is a classic movie of mine that I grew up watching when I was a kid, and I will always love this movie. Charlton Heston, take your stinking paws off of me, you, you damn, damn dirty, dirty apes. Damn dirty <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fuck it. And that's not the only one. There was, like, multiple ones. You maniacs. You know, I mean, you blew it up. God damn it. I mean, every there's so many fucking lines out of the movie, but I picked that one because that, that was, was so on iconic. my list, but I... I, I know you well enough. I'm like, yeah, Ron's got this one. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and leave this off. <laughs> but it was hard because I almost was going to do the one where he's at the fucking Statue of Liberty. And I was trying to figure out which one am I going to do? All right. Uh, the, the next one is a, sh- a short one and I'll do my long one here. Uh, I'm a huge, huge Indiana Jones fan. So I had to pick. And also okay. I had the same fear as Indiana Jones. Dr. Jones. Dr. Jones. Snakes. <laughs> Dr. Jones. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? But I love <laughs> Sala's little apps. <clears throat> Very dangerous. You go first. Yeah. Or they're about to go down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. You see Andy just looking over at him. So, yeah. Mine's more, like I said, mine's more sci fi. I, I, I love comedies, but for no, some, man. I'm a big sci fi guy. Um, and then I have to go with Star Wars. And some people will argue about this. Some people won't because oh, wow. it's got a certain thing in it. But the fact is, is that I love the classic Star Wars movies, but I am a fan of the prequels. I fucking suck. Shut the fuck up. I grew up on the prequels. I enjoyed them. The classic is still the best, but Revenge of the Sith is garbage. No, it's not. (laughs) Fuck you. Anyways, the the Revenge of the Sith, the monologue from uh, Emperor Palpatine from Revenge of the Sith, the part where he's talking about it. This is long here, but I'm going to read it. Did you ever hear the tragedy of Darth Plagueis? The wise. I thought not. 
It's not a story a Jedi would tell you. It's a Sith legend. Darth Plagueis was a Dark Lord of the Sith, so powerful and so wise that you can use the Force to influence the Midochlorians, which I knew you were going to have a problem with, to create life. <laughs> he had a, such a knowledge of the dark side that he can even keep the ones he cared about from dying. The dark side of the Force is a pathway to many abilities some consider to be unnatural. He became so powerful, the only thing he was afraid of was losing his power, which eventually, of course, he did. Unfortunately, he taught his apprentice everything he knew. Then his apprentice killed him in his sleep. Ironic. He could save others from death, but not himself. I love that scene. Yes. That's one of my favorite ah, scenes from Revenge of the Sith. It's that opera scene. And to me, it just tells the whole story of Darth Sidious with the uh, the Emperor. And I just, I enjoy the hell out of it. Now, the thing is, I was thinking about pulling a Darth Vader one because I'm, I'm a huge Darth Vader fan. But that one right there still gets to me. I just fucking love that, uh, that whole scene in the movie. So that's my top five. So you Would see what- you have put your helmet on? I dig it. For no. it? No. You're talking to the right no. people, dude, because you got a bunch of big Star Wars fans. <laughs> I say as, so. as, long okay. as, didn't, as long as you didn't take <laughs> All right. the, 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 the remake of, 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 the of fucking episode prequel. six where he says, no, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> <didn't> <laughs> um, which of you four are the, actually fans of the prequels? I, I um, oh. fans of the prequels or fans of Natalie Portman? <laughs> <laughs> fans of prequels. Natalie Portman I, is a I, goddess, I, I, and I will go to my fucking deathbed screaming that. Yeah, I mean, I'm right. fa- yeah. And she is, well, you know, the 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 fact that like her Natalie Portman raps on the fucking SNL shorts and shit like that were amazing. Yeah. All right, she is a goddess, mm-hmm. an amazing actress. But what she was, the prequels are dog shit. I'm sorry, they are dog shit. Hey, they man, should not you, be Star Wars. Yeah. When she, he very strategically rips off her midriff. Yes. And uh, just has her abs showing, dude. I mean, I'm in. I'll oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I mean, I think they really get in depth into like government shit. So I'm, I'm kind of like stoked about that. <laughs> oh, no. I'm yes. Like, they, they, they weren't fucking Star Wars movies. I'm sorry. As they progressed, <laughs> they became more Star Wars, but they were not Star Wars movies. They were not most, fucking Star Wars. And which gets to the whole point is that I'm hosting the, because pro- we're doing the Star Wars trilogies. Each of us are hosting a trilogy. Uh, Stu's doing the classic. I'm doing the prequels, nice. and I I guarantee that's gonna be full of arguments in that episode. I'm gonna be shitting all over you. Yeah, I'm gonna be a I German you scat for it. God, God damn it! All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I've got and... two boys. I've got two boys that are huge Star Wars fans, and their quote every time uh, they always say it. They walk into a room, and it's uh, uh, it's uh, fucking what's his name, and he says. Hello there. And they say it every fucking time. Do you know that? Yes. That's, yeah. that's my boy's quote. <laughs> um, all right. I can read. I can, that is a great fucking quote. Yeah. That is a yeah. great fucking quote. <laughs> Hello there. <laughs> all right. So we're going to go ahead and have uh, Ragnar go next. So Ragnar, what are your top five movie quotes? After you're trying to drink a beer. Swallow. And, uh, <laughs> by the way, I, I killed I, the can. I, I killed the can. Too. Dude, this great is job. amazing. Great job. Everybody. Um, if you have access to it on the West Coast. <laughs> Um, pick this fucking IPA up. It is, if you're a fan of IPA, you're a fan of, uh, you know, uh, special, you know, l- lower valued hops that aren't given enough fucking light. Pick this shit up. It is fucking amazing. Yeah, I will definitely tag you guys on Instagram and tag the uh, brewery and everything because th- this, I give this a two thumbs. Like I said, we all gave it two thumbs up. This is amazing. You guys did a great job on this. I, awesome. I, I'm glad Thanks, I got man. two more in my fucking fridge. For my, you want another one? <laughs> Fuck you! Yes, <laughs> yes. We might have to split it all between all four of us. That's a we only got dumb question. <laughs> all right, Ragnar, what are your top five? All right, so we're gonna go from the top here. So this one here, uh, let's see if anybody can figure it out. Any of you boys want to shoot? Now's the time. One of us that doesn't want to be someplace else. Fuck. Um. But this is what we do. Who we are. Live for nothing, or die for something. Your call. Oh shit! What movie is that? What the? Sh- God damn it! The live for nothing or die for something. That is what's <laughs> fucking ringing the bell to me. Fuck! I don't got. It's not Expendables, right? Older? Is it like a Young Guns or is it like a? No, no. Is it Expendables? No. We're we're talking older, right? We're going. No, way older. we're not talking older. Give me a time frame. The actor is older, but the movie is newer. Ish. Oh, this, so this is a. Uh, uh, this is, is, is it? Is it Sly? This no, is a no, this Rambo is a. Uh, 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 okay. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh, no, oh, yeah. I just yes. watched that yes. like two I know. days ago. That's why I'm disappointed in oh, you, my Ron. God. I haven't made it to there to read my rewatches. That's yet. okay. All right. Ne- next Friday. Which, by the way, Harley, I just found out, and we need to judge the shit out of her. She has not seen any of the Rambo movies. No, we didn't. 
I'm like, I was so <laughs> fucking floored. I was rewatching fucking First Blood, wow. and she's like, "Oh, what? It, it, what's going on here? What's going on here?" I'm like, it, how, "How do you not one. know? Have, have you never seen? This? I've never seen this one." Oh, okay. I've oh, never okay. seen any of them. What? We're doing. What? We're doing a uh, an episode next wow. Friday. Exactly. We're doing the, we're doing the so Rambo Legacy. That is not okay. No. We're doing the Rambo Jesus. Legacy next Friday. Which uh, Ragnar is hosting, right, so yeah. we're going to be touching all five of the Rambo movies. Um, yeah, touching it Dude. really mm. sweetly and tenderly. Mm. When, when, he, when he jumps on the back of that <laughs> truck in like the, the newest Rambo, or the, I think it was not the newest, but the, the one before the newest. That was part four, like yeah. On the back of the truck and yeah, just the 50 cal. unloads on everybody. Yes. <laughs> it's such a crazy Absolutely. Scene. Yeah. Ever, they and it felt like it went on forever, but it just, did. But also, it felt like, I want more. Yes. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Listen, if it comes to a modus, just chug, 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 chug chugging yes. along i yes. can listen to that shit for hours it's a very beautiful sound oh yeah <laughs> i'm not gonna say full hard but i'm at least yeah, laser yes. flying off. Right. Wow. absolutely yes. Chub, absolutely if you don't if you don't dry shave with a fucking hunting knife to prepare for that pod are you even really serious about <laughs> i love it <laughs> i love that <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, Sammy That's just great. brought us to uh, some extra of your IPA oh, well, right you. here. Marwitch, Sammy. Sammy, you're pretty oh, awesome. Oh, nice. Cheers. Oh, no, no, no. Cheers on that. Dude, I'm not actually not drinking my IPA anymore. Oh, but, come on. Uh, God damn it. I can't I hold it up here for all the Oh, oh ah, Hold on. You hey, guys. Hey. Hey. You didn't get me. <laughs> the feeling left out. So my next one. And the fact that the big boy cans too, not the fucking little, nah, yeah. some little yeah. bitch. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it'll get you drunk. I appreciate it. <laughs> hey, I like you when it does the job. My liver is mad at me. Then I know I've done a good job. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ragnar, what's your do, second do one? You, do you have an argument? Oh, uh, it tries to, but it's very meek by now. It already, it, it's very smooth. It knows it's it's did, you, did you feed it down already? Yes. Good. There. It's like, <laughs> yes, I'm master. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, what the fuck? <laughs> And then my next one is going to be, I'm not going to fucking say the and whole then, goddamn thing, but um, the quote that uh, Rocky <laughs> gives his son in Balboa outside the restaurant. Yeah. That one, I was going to do that one. It's, that thing is fucking long as shit. Do it, because uh, I'm not going to lie. I have three full goddamn monologues. Well, I Fuck do not. Y'all. <laughs> so... <laughs> I do not have that. And quote. you will see my acting prowess here soon. Let's see how good you are. Powerous? Prowess. Okay. That, that's my question. <laughs> um, I, said, I thought it right the first oh, okay. Whose phone went off? Not mine. Nobody's phone went off. I, I heard a, a ding. I, I heard, heard a ding. Oh, was it one of y'all's? I don't I have mine on. I don't think so. I'm on Buzz. Uh, Zach's the only one who keeps his phone on loud. <laughs> well, either way, I heard a ding. <laughs> I think that was yours because yours dinged My a couple times. My phone's fucking silent, asshole. Yeah, he muted it. He yeah, and I talked right. about it. Yeah, somebody's getting away with a free punishment. <laughs> it's Ron. Okay. It's not me. I think, we should, I think we should have Ron do it anyway. You know, we all <laughs> we all recognize it happened. It was me. It was, it was me. you. Fuck you. You, you sent me a text saying be better. What the fuck, man? Just test. Just check. He said that like an hour <laughs> ago. Yes. When your first one of the shot went off is when That's I said fantastic. this one, and you're just now getting it. What sort of chair <laughs> butt fucking cricket fucking plan are you on? All right, hold, hold on. I gotta fucking roll this damn fucking wheel. It's been roll the dice. Every soul's got a price. The original punishment shot again. Yes. Fuck. Well, it's right there for I'm you. I'm telling you, man. It's so nutty. So the the peanut wheel butter, of punishment. Peanut butter, whiskey time. Peanut butter, whiskey time. Peanut butter, butter, jelly, <laughs> peanut butter <laughs> jelly. Peanut butter jelly with a baseball bat. I actually like we, the peanut uh, butter whiskey time. Peanut butter whiskey time. I, I, I kind of dig it. I kind of dig it. All right, Ragnar, what's your third? Are you going to read, read out the quote? No, I'm not. You have it's a third? too long? It's too fucking long. That's why I changed it. All right. It, good. It's a good, it is a good quote, though. Yes. Yeah. Um, and then we're going to go with The Ringer. <laughs> with Johnny with Knoxville? Knoxville. Yeah. Oh, oh my but, God. I'm not expecting this. But this specific scene, though, when he's uh, fucking, the dude is bringing all the kids back from a night out. Yeah. And they get caught. Yeah. And he tells them that... Um, it's okay. We just went out to ice cream, and the other one, and the one dude's like, "When the fuck did we get ice cream?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yes. the, the best, the best part yeah, about that, line. you see Knoxville break lesser known break family down brothers right there. Yeah, because it's a great that one. whole scene right there wasn't, but was ad lib. Yeah, and mm-hmm. shit. That's fucking. That's a good one. Which was fucking <laughs> hilarious. That's an underrated film. Yeah, that really is. It is. No, it's it's good fucking phenomenal. It's a yeah. great. Movie. I think it's directed by the Farley brothers, it is. isn't it? That's it what is. he just said. It yeah. was uh, yeah. um, lesser known Farley. Yeah. yeah. Um, which you know, you guys said something about Mary 
I'm just curious. What is your favorite? Real time, my your favorite Father <laughs> Brothers movie? <laughs> Dumb and Dumber for me, for sure, hundred percent. I I, I just grew up on that, and that's uh, that that's got so many good memories. It's Dumb and Dumber, followed closely by something about Mary, oh, followed closely box? by Kingpin, yeah. followed closely by nothing else because all the rest was <laughs> Kingpin. The Kingpin is fucking recorded episode. Dumb and Dumber, yeah. Dumb, and Dumber. Yeah. Dumb and Dumber. Yeah, we've yeah. been talking about doing Kingpin for a long fucking time. It's that, a that, great. Yeah, you could probably movie. do that. That could be one of your episodes no. this year. Uh, stop trying to fucking give me goddamn episodes. That was when you never got He's to do that. Trying to force it down your throat. Leave him alone. I will pick my own fucking shit. Fuck you. Yeah, no, no, fuck you. Fucking every week I'm going, hey, you can put this on your list. Hey, you can put this on your list. <laughs> fuck yeah. you. I'll fucking figure it out when I get <laughs> because there. Because you don't have a list. That's why exactly. he's doing it. Yeah, everybody's got a list. All of us have our list for the whole year. He's We, we have to go Stu wait by he's his. special. I feel it out. <laughs> and like, you know what? This is going <laughs> to be fun. Now, right? This is going to be fun. Our, based on what we've done recently, it then, all right, let's go ahead. We've done a shitty fucking dragon movie. Let's go ahead and do hey. something where a guy's fun explodes. Yeah, all right. <laughs> so next one is from um, the movie that we're doing uh, here, I don't know, next month or two months or whatever, Multiplicity. Yeah, great one. Um, from the 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 hilarious, lovable, special one. I love him so much. He's the best one. He is my spirit animal. I, I already animal. know what this is. <laughs> she touched my pippy feet. I knew it was that one. <laughs> <laughs> it's the best part of it. <laughs> Michael Keaton rocks in that movie. Michael Keaton rocks in general. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and then finally, uh, from a, an amazing classic war movie, um, I love the smell of napalm in the morning. Fuck oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That was yeah. so yeah. close yeah. to my fucking yeah. head. Yeah. Not, not just that line, the entire the fucking monologue. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, that got my fucking dick hard <laughs> fucking watching that movie. I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. America. Spicy motor. Fucking list. Thank you. Spin the fucking wheel yes, again. Yeah, that is a spicy boner. Ron, um, we appreciate you. Uh, Ron just yes. dropped real name. Uh, yep. So that is a spicy boner. <laughs> that is spin oh number my God. three. <laughs> spin number <laughs> that's three. Oh my Ron. That's, that's, like, three. that's like dead naming. Yes. He just dead named Ragnar. Yeah, he used your really government wrong. name. I know. All All right. Right. I'm going to my slave name. Uh, uh, <laughs> Daddy Picks. <laughs> Oh, well, they are the ho- we, we established earlier the thing that they would be the host as the guests. So okay. Guys. All right. So Daddy Picks Daddy. is where the host of the show gets to pick the punishment <laughs> shot, and the guest oh, has I'm says, a- uh, "What is it, Daddy? What's my punishment, Daddy?" Oh, All right. So Lord. I got to ask you guys, what is my punishment, Daddy? <laughs> is there is there gin in the house? If yes. yes. Gin, oh yes. yes. I want them to wait, wait, Hold on. There want. is also watermelon gin. No. Which is watermelon is something that Ron <laughs> definitely hates. Lou. I'm just throwing that out there for you kind gentlemen. Oh, if you so choose to. We, we have good gin Lord. or I mean, we have punishment. Yes. We have good gin or we have I feel like it's just gonna, not it's so gonna good get gin. worse and worse though. But yeah, let's let's take some watermelon gin. I've never heard of that, and that sounds I, I don't terrible. respect you guys anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Thank you so much. I we're love, doing our job. You complete me. <laughs> further, we're doing quotes. Yeah. For the record, that shit is delicious. Oh. They can't see wow. the, the the label, bro. We uh Crystal just, changed. I love it. you, Ron. Yeah, we love good. you, Ron. Oh, okay, I gotcha. Damn it. <laughs> I, I can't believe I'm actually uh, saying this to our guests, you guys. And oh. we just lost some people. Uh oh, we lost uh, somebody. I, I, we we might have. I think they're they're like up camping, and so they were hoping for their signal. I don't know. They might have lost it, but oh, hopefully they'll no. come back in. We'll see. Sad face. All right, so here we go. <laughs> You're gonna have peanut butter uh, and freaking don't watermelon. Smell it, just oh. go. <sighs> Got it. It's not as I'm getting used yep. to it. <laughs> You've been punished so much. You're probably desensitized. Chase it with some BVK IPA. All yeah, right, that's Dude, a good idea. Absolutely. The, oh yeah, dude. The, oh god, I want go. more of this. Makes everything right in the world. Yeah, yeah. So it, it, it I'm going to take over happy. so we can fi- uh, finish right. off with a finale. So go ahead and chase. Oh, so Stu's the finale with his yeah. monologues. Of course. Yeah. Um, I'm going to go with number five. Why so serious? There you go. It's Dark just yeah. Yeah, fucking iconic. You cannot golf clap. Yes. <laughs> you Golf can't, you can't do a better joker than that. Um, my number four, it's a dialogue, but still a quote. It's a short one. Do you know what they say? People in glass houses sink ships. Doc, I got to buy you like a proverb book or something. This mix and match shit ain't got to go. <laughs> what? 
a penny saved is worth two in the bush, isn't it? And don't cross the road if you can't get out of the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> fucking love Boondock that, that, Saints. That, that sums that. you up right there. <laughs> <laughs> it really does. Okay. That's uh, like Rana. Dude, what are you fucking me, about? The whole, the whole time I was like, God, how do I know that? How do I know that? And, oh my gosh, it's so good. <laughs> Boondock Blind Saints, spot for absolutely me. fantastic. Blind spot. <laughs> Whoops. Um, my number three is simple. You got red on you. <laughs> oh. Shaun of the Dead. Shaun of the Dead. Yes. Fucking fantastic. Yes. Uh, let's see here. Right, and right. oh, come on, where is the other one? Did you not write them down? I kind of tried <laughs> to be prepared. I tried. What the okay. fuck? Be better. Where is it? I, I, I thought we we're talking about Chase, not Ron. Fuck it. Fine. He's rubbing off on him. <sighs> there we go. Literally. And this Ew. one is Ew. sticky. <laughs> I'm Hug McCann. I've fought in two world wars and countless smaller ones on three continents. I led thousands of men into battle and everything from with everything from horses and swords to artillery and tanks. I've seen the headwaters of the Nile and the tribes of, of natives no white man had ever seen before. I've won and lost a do- dozen fortunes, killed many men, and loved only one woman with a passion, a flea like you could never begin to understand. And that's who I am. Now go home, boy. God. Secondhand Lions. God, that was so amazing. Good. Fucking that was love so hug. good. Very good movie. Great job, Chase. Great. And job. my number one and final is very simple. I'm thinking I'm back. <laughs> John fucking good Wick. job. Yes. Good job. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Nice, nice reading. You had good gra- good gravel to your vo- voice there. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Stu, you go ahead and finish this up. Okay, I'll start with uh, the shortest one. quotes first, and then I'll do the three monologues. All right. All right, so first one is, um, I'm walking here! I'm walking here! <laughs> <laughs> right, Very yes. good. Dustin Hoffman, Very good. Midnight Cowboy, 1969. And the reason it made my list is not necessarily how strong of a quote it is, but the fact that it was completely improv. Yeah, it was all improv. They they were shooting guerrilla style. You know, they didn't have any permits or anything like that. And as they were crossing the street, a cab really did almost run over fucking Dustin Hoffman. And in his mind, he was like, shit, I got to stay in character. What what would my character say right here? I'm walking here! And I was like, that is fucking (laughs) genius. This is amazing. And I, I just give so much credit to Dustin Hoffman as an actor. He is wonderful because that fit the character so goddamn Absolutely well they did um uh the next one um Step Brothers 2008 another Step Brothers quote it's the fucking Catalina wine mixer fuck <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah I say that line a lot and every time I say it people laugh and enjoy because it immediately triggers happy memories in their fucking mind and I'm like that is a great fucking quote right there because it transports you to a happy fucking memory. That is something that sticks in your fucking mind. I don't get, I don't care who you are. Yeah. Uh, Step Brothers is a wonderful, wonderful film, even though Ron hates Will Far, uh, Will uh, Farrell. 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 I, I, Farrell. Farrell. I, I, I corrected I, it. I respect John C. Riley though. Yes. John you C. Riley, I love you. Him do. In that. But without fucking Will Farrell, there, there would be no movie. It's one of my, like I said, I hate Will Farrell. They but could find a replacement for him. The Roxbury, Step Anyone Brothers, could. Old School. Not those are this. the three that I have no issues with when it comes will ferrell okay hey we got a local theater that uh last year for the first time they did the 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 catalina wine mixer as, and they, s- they did a screening of of stepbrothers they had like food and drinks and beers and it was like a crazy party so some friends that i that i know went to it i, I wasn't able to go but they're gonna do it like annually now so that is, you know, I, I didn't see when, I was, when i was typing this up to uh see if it was if i was going to do that single line if i was going to do the, the full quote up to it, then it just popped up. You know, the fucking Catalina wine mixer is becoming real. It's actually happening. I was like, God damn, that'd be pretty fucking cool. It's just, I mean, it's a fucking Catalina wine mixer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, next is a classic film, Mommy Dearest from 1981. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, Joan oh, wow. Crawford. Ooh. Yes. All right. So no more wire hangers. Nice. What's wire hangers doing in this closet when I told you 
No wire hangers ever. I work and work till I'm half dead. And I hear people saying she's getting old. And what do I get? A daughter who cares as much about the beautiful dresses I give her as she cares about me. What's wire hangers doing in this closet? Answer me. I buy you beautiful dresses and you treat them like they were some dish rag. You threw a $300 dress on a wire hanger. We'll see how many you've got if they're hidden somewhere. We'll see. We'll see. Get out of that bed. All of this is coming out. Ow, 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 ow. You've got any more? We're going to see how many wire hangers you've got in your closet. Wire hangers. Why? Why? Christina, get out of that bed. Get out of that bed. You live in the most beautiful house in Brentwood, and you don't care if your clothes are stretched out from wire hangers. And your room looks like some $2 a week furnished room in some two-bit backstreet town in Oklahoma. Get up, get up, clean up this mess. The entire time as she's beating that bitch with a fucking wire hanger. Yes. All right. It is. That I, was beautiful. Yes. It is amazing acting. You, upon. Even, you even sound like a female. Thank you. <laughs> I, 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 I was trying to raise the hey, that, that was mentioned. He tucked. We That's just so right. the most memorable most memorable scary uh scenes in non-horror movies and that would that was mentioned it didn't get drafted but that was that was definitely it was, mentioned. A, it was a miss Maybe yeah we, we, we probably should have drafted that, that but it did not get drafted. That's, a, that's a crazy scene it, yeah. it is but also it, it uh, joan crawford's the acting psychosis fucking was real fits so god damn amazingly to that film and yeah. it is one of you know the, probably top 50 films of all time in my opinion just because how over the top and amazing everybody's acting and apparently that film it's, was. it's actually a tradition to watch that around thanksgiving okay that's a right. tradition i've read about that on uh on articles you read like that. some weird shit i, I ain't do gonna lie. i am not gonna lie that i do planes trains there you go <laughs> yes it's a good fucking movie <laughs> all right um uh the next one is uh whose phone was that it was not mine because that was not mine this time nope it's not mine. i don't have that tone on mine and it's oh silence. Lord. Sammy? Is that your <laughs> computer? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, are we doing shots? Oh, oh, are we? Yes, we are. Oh, the next recording is going to be so wow. fun. The <laughs> next one is going to be so fun. I love it. Because I was like, fuck? I've been into a blood orange. I didn't do it. I'm trying to get somebody else fucked, and it keeps being me. What the fuck, <laughs> <All right>. dude? <laughs> I want to point out everybody says, I'm always the one instigating everything. Is it me this time? No, no. Exactly. No, it's I somebody think else. It's I think though. it's Ron's electronics. Yeah, I think it's, it's Ron. Just, it's getting he, worse and he's worse. He's trying to fuck somebody takes, else. The more and it's just, mistakes. It's ever, just clear, clear. ever clear and joy. Ooh. Yes. Oh, and this is the real yes. shit. This, is, this isn't the pussy, like, legally legalized. God, we're man, talking I'm gonna 170 get proof. 190. Hey, hold on, hold on. This One, is 190. 190 proof. Oh my lord. Ron. Yeah, this is the real deal. This Holy is number deal. three. All right. Okay. Remember this, that. No, this, this is wait, number what's four. the joy part of well, this? No. There's been two since I got here. Everclear tastes amazing. I had two. Yeah. <laughs> that's just right, You're welcome that we were allowed to have Everclear. I, no, yeah. I had this two is, shots Two this. shots of uh, screwball. I had the watermelon gin that Bev's video picked for me. Yeah. And then we appreciate you. So now I got Everclear, and so I already, you I already can't, finished you, your fucking beer, so now I don't have a fucking chaser. You cannot say uh, that, like, Guinness, right? this Uh-oh. is shot 15 when it's four. <laughs> Thank you so okay. much, Ragnar. That's Thank a throwback so to another episode we did. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> I'm on the shot number 17, guys. You're it's on like shot number like two, three? <laughs> I mean, come on. <laughs> All right, we're good. All right, I am not going to do, <laughs> I'm not going to do the accent. All right, just oh, come I on. cannot do the accent. I cannot do it. All right, oh, come so on. I can't do oh, it. Oh damn! I, I should have done smoking Let's try. aces. Come on! Is All right, the cinnamon uh, roll. The roll right. of the cinnamon <laughs> from one of the greatest actors of our generation. All right, Daniel Day Lewis. There will be yeah. blood. Two thousand seven. Oh. oh yeah. Oh. All right. Good call. Like I, said, I can't do the accent. I cannot do it. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> those areas they've been drilled. Yes, it's called drainage, Eli. See, I own everything around oh my it. God, so, a great of course, line. I get what's underneath it. Do you understand, Eli? That's more to the point. Do you understand? I drink your water. I drink it up every day. I drink the blood of the lamb from Bandy's tract. 
because you're not the chosen brother, Eli. Twas Paul who was chosen. He found me and told me about your land. You're just a fool. I did what your brother couldn't. I broke you and beat you. It was Paul told me about you. He's the prophet. He's the smart one. He knew what was there and he found me to take it out of the ground. Know what the funny thing is? Listen, listen, listen. I paid him $10,000 cash in hand. Just like that. He has his own company now. Prosperous little business. Three wells producing $5,000 a week. Stop crying, you sniveling ass. Stop your nonsense. You're just the afterbirth, Eli, that slithered out of your mother's filth. That they should have put you in a glass jar on the mantelpiece. Where were you when Paul was suckling at his mother's teat? Where were you? Who was nursing you, poor Eli? One of Bandy's sows? That land has been had. Nothing you can do about it. It's gone. It's had. You lose. Drainage. Drainage, Eli, you boy. Drained dry. I'm so sorry. Here, if you have a milkshake and I have a milkshake and I have a (laughs) straw, that's a straw, you see. Watch it. Now my straw reaches across the room and starts to drink your milkshake. I drink your milkshake. (laughs) I drink it up. God damn, that was such a fucking beautiful. Daniel Day Uh, Lewis, one of the best actors of our generation by far. And that movie... I mean, he's been in, he's good in just about every movie, but yeah. that fucking model, you did great on that. That was good. Thank awesome. you. Good job. Thank you. Uh, seriously. Yeah. And that, that my, was a on. good one. I have one little, my, my only critique, you should have gone a little longer on the crawl. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that, that, that's true. <laughs> should have. That's my I should only have. Critique. But it, I, also, I kind of was what I was. He's also saying, taking was, up 20 minutes of the like, show. Should I go across the room and nobody can fucking hear me then? <laughs> but no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> hear you, I, I just like how they have you a friendly bowling over, match after like that. that. They did. They, they, <laughs> it was so amazing. All right. Now, the next one is just because it has such a great soft spot in my heart. And I quote the 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 end line all the fucking time but i just think the uh, the monologue this is my smallest of them um so henry hill good fellas oh god all right. see now the guy's got paulie as a partner any problems he goes to paulie trouble with the bill he can go to paulie trouble with the cops deliveries tommy he can go to paulie but now the guy's got to come up with paulie's money every week no matter what business bad fuck you pay me Oh, you had a fire? <laughs> Fuck you. Pay me. Place got hit by lightning, huh? Fuck you. Pay me. I, I'm just like, God damn, that's fucking like it, it nails Amazing. that character so much. Stu, Stu and I uh, <laughs> actually hosted an episode of Goodfellas because that's that's in our top 10 movies of all time. And we I listened to that one. That's a great episode. Oh, great episode. dude. Shit. Yeah, we, we, we basically blew our load in that fucking movie. I mean, we fucking love that fucking movie. Seriously. But uh, yeah. seriously, guys. That was fucking great. I enjoyed the fuck out of this. This was so much fun. Seriously. It was. Dude, great fucking list. Thank Ragnar, Chase. I think all of us. Yeah. Had Brad, great Scott, Nate, fucking line. Thanks. Everybody did. Yeah. Nothing but joy. Thank you, man. Uh, go ahead and. Uh, For sure. Absolutely. Go it ahead and. Uh, unknown joy. Oh, yeah. Go ahead and plug your show one more time <laughs> before we uh, let the uh, the ending go. And uh, God damn it. I fucking drank t- fucking ever clear and four yeah. four <laughs> shots Ron. Yeah. just five four shots Man, I had like 87 but shots I will say, we are <laughs> bev's video kingdom and we are uh available on any podcast that you can imagine like you, you know check it out we're there and then instagram bbk podcast uh twitter bbk podcast and facebook bev's video kingdom or go to the deluxe edition network or go mm-hmm. to the deluxe edition network and you'll you'll find us there along with great podcasts such as barrel age flicks and the try East their Coast, beer uh, i'm sorry we are the the, the west coast version of barrel age flicks so you know if you like, uh, if you like them, i like that no like getting a little too. brown there son 
<laughs> and guys, so yeah, seriously. no, uh, we're we're available and and check us out. We've got hundred up. We just hit our hundredth episode, and uh, which is a huge, huge milestone. Yeah, just Congrats. like you guys. We, we enjoy awesome. our recording nights. They're precious to us because we're all good friends. We love having drinks and and talking shit about each other and talking shit about movies. And so. we'll get you guys on uh, very soon. Hopefully Absolutely, you guys can come on and and judge one of our drafts. Which that'll is, be fun. Oh fun. yeah, and no, I'm totally down. Yes. Oh yeah. No, guys, yeah. you guys so we'll, fucking we'll rock. You got no. I'm, I'm actually looking very. I think we're all excited about being a part of your episode. Uh, the fact that you guys were a part of our episode, we were so glad that you were a part of this, and this was so much fucking fun. And seriously, go check uh, BDK out. They are a great fucking uh, podcast. They uh, review the movies, the drafts, and everything. They it, it's just it's the same as us. I mean, it's it's guys just having fun talking about movies. And just enjoying themselves. Yep. I mean, it's seriously. our lame ass excuse yep. to drink. Fuck you. Exactly. <laughs> <Right>. Basically. <laughs> but guys, thank you for joining us for our tasting room episode. And uh, can't wait to be a part of your episode. And uh, you guys, thank you so much. Great beer. Appreciate it, Great gentlemen. Show. Cheers, Thanks y'all. for being on. Cheers. Fun Cheers. Later. All right, guys. Later. Hey guys, thank you for listening to our episode and our season three of The Tasting Room. If you like our show, please leave a five-star rating on Apple Podcasts and Spotify. Guys, this helps out enormously. Give us a follow on Instagram at Barrel Age Flicks Podcast. If you would like to send us a special film request, please contact us via Instagram and we will give you a personal shout out on the show. We are also on Facebook and Twitter. Our podcast is available on Apple Podcasts, Buzzsprout, Google Podcasts, Audible, Pocket Cast, Spotify, Castbox, iHeartRadio, and Pandora. Special thanks to Carl Casey at White Bat Audio on YouTube for his awesome music. This guy fucking rocks. Check him out. Want to give a shout out to Sammy, one of our guest hosts on the show who does our amazing album art. Thank you, Sammy. Our podcast only exists because of listeners like you. To find other great shows, head over to deluxeeditionnetwork.com. Hope you join us for our next episode. Later, guys.